Technology has weaved its way into just every aspect of our lives, including when it's time to sell your home. Bob Massey is the property man. And in the first episode of the show's new season, he explores many of these hot new technological advances, starting with drones. You can take pictures on the ground, you can take video on the ground, you can take stabilized video, you can do 360 video. And then there is the real game changer. What a drone enables you to do, like no technology before it, is show a property and context in the neighborhood. We can go from up to down. We can go from side to side. We can show you inside to outside. We can fly through a pergola, or we can fly over the top of a dock. Let's bring in Bob Massey for a closer look at the exciting new season of The Property Man. Bob, how prevalent, great to see you as always, how prevalent is the use of drones by realtors in, in putting together a package to sell your home nowadays? Oh, yeah, it's the wave now in Las Vegas, for example, in Florida, Arizona, where we did the third season of the show, Dagan. It is now the state of the art. It's particularly, of course, in luxury areas. They're using it more and more because, like this gentleman that we interviewed said, it sort of gives a panoramic view of the neighborhood. There are some issues, however, as to who really owns that airspace and privacy issues, so it gets a little complicated. But as it relates to selling homes, absolutely, it's the state of the art now. Yeah, Bob, uh, what, are, what are you seeing in regards to those issues? Are the municipalities starting to come in and regulate in that regard? Um, is, yeah. it, is, it, is it the neighbors protesting? How have you seen that play out? Combination. First of all, homeowners associations get involved because obviously they have neighbors that are coming to them. You have municipalities getting involved. Neighbors are concerned that all of a sudden they're sitting in their backyard relaxing or swimming in the pool and they hear this drone or what appears to be, it is a drone, but they really don't know what it is. And one of the things I tell people all the time and realtors, if you're going to do this type of thing, you better get clearance. You better go to the homeowners association. You should talk to the neighbors. Let them know this is where you're going to market your home because believe it or not, a lot of people don't realize that is in fact the state of the art now and they may end up using it when they decide to sell their home. So disclosure becomes very important. Hey, Bob, what are some of the exciting new themes that you have coming up on this season of the show? Well, one of the things I'm really excited about in the third season, and I apologize, my IFB is cutting in and out a little bit. I apologize. But what, what, they're, what we did that we found exciting, a lot of people dig and they love history. Mm -hmm. So we did like the Wrigley's Mansion. It was built in 1929. We went to this old gold mine up in Scottsdale, as high up on a hill as I have ever been. But we've also found that people love personal stories. They want to understand that there's other people who have gone through hard times. And even though we're in 2017, believe it or not, there's still a lot of problems where people are trying to get out of their homes. They can't get out of their homes because they can't get in touch with the right servicers. So there's still some problems that are going on. And my concern, to be honest with you, Dagan, is the loan modifications this year are maturing. I just had a person come in yesterday. 10-year loan mod, interest only, their payment now doubled. You're going to see some of these loan mods, and if the servicers, in fact, are not going to take care of them and sort of give them a better loan, you could see another wave of some short sale issues and foreclosure issues and bankruptcies in the next year or two. Is there any particular markets that you think that's going to be, that we really should be watching in that, in that regard? Well, yeah, I mean, I think we have to go to where we are in Las Vegas, obviously, down in Florida, uh, Arizona, the Pacific, uh, obviously the Southwest and Southeast got hit very hard. I'm originally from Pennsylvania, from Pittsburgh. They really didn't understand some of the things that we go through in this part of the country. So, yeah, it's, it's sort of consistent with where it was. Like right now in Vegas, mm -hmm. there's not a lot of inventory, for example. There just is not a mm -hmm. lot of inventory. So you have the supply and demand. Prices are going up. New homes are being built everywhere. It's like 2005 and 6 all over again, which is a little scary because I don't want to see another problem. So the same right. places that had the problem before, we're having it now. Well, let's head on down to Houston, Texas, Bob. Homeowners down there spent an average of $700,000 to remodel their homes, according to BuildFacts, a yeah. building permit data company. That beats out remodeling budgets in 74 other U.S. metro markets. Why do you think homeowners in Houston are spending so much to update their homes? Well, River Oaks, which is a beautiful area, and just like any, any place, Dagan, there's great areas and luxury homes. A lot of people look at this, and as we know, it's in the buy. So they evaluate, first of all, the luxury homes are custom homes. It's what they wanted. A lot of these people 
families, their children have grown up, they now have grandchildren, they don't want to move. They say, well, what's going to be the cost mm -hmm. even if we downsize, and what's it going to cost us to remodel, and can I recapture that money? So it becomes a business decision. It's happening in areas in Las Vegas where these luxury homes are saying, you know what, I love the area. I know my neighbors. I love everything about it. My kids still come home. Now I have grandchildren. So they remodel it, and they evaluate it, and it's happening not only in River Oaks and in the Houston area, but in other very luxury areas, Palm Beach, Las Vegas, different areas. So it's, it is absolutely something that everybody's looking at now. Just real quickly, I always caution people, it's one thing to remodel your home if you plan to live in it, but you have to be careful when you make upgrades to sell your home, because again, your taste might not be the taste of your buyer. It's very, very difficult to sell a luxury home that's going to suit the next buyer. That's very good advice because things change. A luxury home is a, usually a custom to your eye fit, and you've got to look in the buy and say, the changes that you are making, can it be so dramatic that you may not be able to sell at home as quickly as the neighbor down the street? Bob, great to see you as always, and everybody, do Thanks not miss it. Bob Massey, the property man, premiering tonight, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time on the Fox Business Network. Bob.